I'm joined now by Mike Bruzewitz. Mike, when you take a look at some of the opportunities you had to stay in this ball game, it was very important to stay close until the end. We have a one shot to win or lose. Uh, yeah, you know, guys did a great job knocking down shots. Um, you know, they went on runs and we went on runs. Um, you know, we had a chance with the last shot. Um, just didn't go down. You know, ball didn't ball didn't bounce our way. Um, you know, credit goes to Syracuse. Talk a little bit about the prep you had for that zone and the way you you, you moved the ball and got some really good looks throughout the game. Uh, just normal stuff, you know. We didn't really change a whole lot. Um, you know, everything we saw today, we do on the first day of practice. Um, Coach Close did a great job with the scout and getting us ready um, with film and everything. So, you know, we kind of knew what they were going to do. Um, you know, it obviously it changes when you go against, you know, a scout team and what they do. But um, you know, our coaches did a great job of getting us ready for um, a team like this. And uh, just, you know, one possession short. Was it frustrating for both you and Jared Bergeron in the first half because you got saddled with foul trouble and uh, it, it took away some of the things you could do offensively? Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, you know, it's frustrating any time you get you know, a couple cheap ones. Um, um, you know, I thought I had a couple charges there, but um, you know, they're called blocks. Um, you know, it's, it's a judgment call, so you know, it's 50-50 either way. Um, you know, so it's just you know, it's tough to sit down and um, you know, I had to watch, but you know, guys, Frank Kaminsky did a great job coming in and giving us minutes and. Um, Ryan did a great job. You know, we just had that little spell where they they took, kind of took control of the game, and you know we had to fight back and everything like that. So, um, you know, credit, once again, credit goes to Syracuse. Talk about your two seniors and Jordan Taylor and how they kept you in the ball game and have been kind of the leaders throughout the year for you. It's uh, it's, uh, it's going to be weird without them. Um, you know, it's, like I said, you know, you see guys. You know, with the, more, the longer you're in the program, the more you get to know guys and everything. And um, you know, I'm, I'm proud to say I got to play with both those guys. I'm proud to say I got to know both those guys because, um, you know, they're they're really good basketball players, but they're even better people. So um, it's going to be tough missing with those, you know, it'll be tough without them, but uh, you know, best of luck in whatever they do and, uh, you know, best of luck in their future. And uh, you know, I always, I'll, I'll, I'll still be talking to them, um, you know, so <laughs> when we're in old folks' homes. The goal will be come back to get back to a Sweet 16 next year. Uh, I think, yeah, goals in our Sweet 16, um, you know, Final Four, National Championship, you know, that was a goal. You know, those aspirations we had in this room, that's why it's, uh, it's tough to swallow this one. You know, we felt like we had a, a good chance of getting there. And, um, you know, like I said, we just came up one short. Thanks, Mike. Thanks.